Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press, and I have with me today Jim Whitten. Jim is the Worldwide Product Marketing Manager for, for Networking. How are you doing, Jim? Good, David. How are you today? Good. So today we're going to be talking about the new high-speed networking solution for Flex System. Um, so Jim, we have a switch and adapter here. Yes. What are these new components? These new components were created as a pair specifically for the Lenovo Flex System. We have a, uh, 20, a 25 to 50 gig Ethernet adapter for the Flex System. It's called. Uh, it's it's based on the Q Logic technology, mm -hmm. and here we have a new 25 to 100 gig Ethernet switch that's designed specifically for the Flex chassis. These are both part of the Think System product family. This is the Think System NE2552E exactly. Flex switch. Yep. Exactly. Yep. And these are the Q Logic uh, Flex adapters as well. Yeah. That's right. These are both sold by Lenovo and designed to work together. Yeah. So Jim, what's, what's the value here? Why, why would customers pick these components for, for their Flex system solution? Customers that have Flex or are thinking about a Flex solution have to position their data center in a, in a way that they can support the technology that's out there today as far as Internet of Things and the need for higher throughput and higher database access rates. So together, these products allow you to take the Think System technology in the compute node and move it at a much faster rate. With the adapter, you can get up to 50 gig I.O. from the Think System compute node. And with our new switch, you can transmit northbound to the top of rack environment or any switch in your network at up to 100 gig. And what this does is that reduces any possibility for overbooking in that chassis. Yep, okay, great. So now, the adapter, there are, there are three variations of the, of the uh, adapter, right? Yes. There's the, the, the one, one uh, um, part number is uh, four 25 gig ports. There is a two by 50 gig mm -hmm. port, and there's also a third adapter that's the two by 50 with FCOE and iSCSI built in. That's right. Now, um, the uh, matching part, uh, switch, the NE2552, what are the different components on, on, on it? I'm glad you asked. So the external ports on the NE2552E consist of four 100 gig northbound ports. They conform to the QSFP28 technology. Then you have uh, eight northbound SFP28 ports, which gives you 25 or 10 gig northbound. So you've got a complete range of external switch ports to be compatible with anything in your network today on the top of and, and all of these are enabled by default, yes? These are enabled. Yep. Yeah, yep. this okay. switch for simplicity uh, turns everything on and there's no additional licensing mm. to purchase. Now, on the, for internal connectivity, um, to com connect to the compute nodes? <clears throat> yes. On the mid-plane, we plug directly into the chassis and we've got connectivity for up for 10, 25, or 50 gig communications. With no wires, of course, we're plugging directly into the mm. mid-plane from the Flex system. And of course, that's system. one of the really big benefits of Flex system is there's no need when, for the internal connectivity to the compute nodes. There's no need for cables, transceivers, DAC cables, the lot. You don't need those because it's all internal connection. Flex system is one of the cleanest implementations in the industry. Yeah. The chassis product lets you do high availability, it lets you do hot swap, and it lets you do upgrades online. Well, let's, let's install the adapter ah. into the, into the compute compu node we have here. So to show our, how it all goes together. Here's what our, we have here is the um, the SN. This is the Think System SN550. Jim, so that's going into the, um, slot two of the adapter. Um, very easy to install. You've just PCK, done it already. Yeah. Prod a product marketing manager can do it. <laughs> yeah. Now, I would point out that, um, like most of our half-wide uh, compute nodes, um, we have uh, two slots. Uh, this one here has the uh, fabric connector already uh, installed. If this fabric connector wasn't installed, then this would be an additional bay, right. additional slot for a second adapter. That's right. So this would be slot one, and this would be slot two. That's right. Um, slot one connects to two of the switches in the enclosure, in the, in the chassis, and uh, slot two connects to the other two for a total of four switches in the, in the chassis. We'll Perfect. show you how to do that in just a moment. Well yeah. said. And it also supports the SN850, the dual-wide uh, compute node from Think System in the Flex system. Yeah, these are our latest uh, compute nodes in, in, the Flex, in the Think System family. So let's put the cover back on and then let's install that. So let's uh, wander around and look at the, we have the uh, Flex System uh, Flex System Enterprise chassis installed here, uh, just here. Um, this unit has two compute nodes. Uh, we've got the SN850 here, and Jim has the SN550. Um, these are blanks for the additional ones. Um, a total of 14 bays can be installed in this. And these, uh, the, the advantage of Flex System is that it supports multiple generations. We've exactly. got the X240M5 and the older generations as well that can be installed in this, in this chassis. So Jim, let's put that in. It's really very simple. Insert the latchet. Um, that can be installed while the other 
compute nodes are still running. That's it. So it's a, a hot swap environment in that exactly. sense. Exactly. Yeah. And now the server can be powered on and connect to the rec to the rest of the the, the environment. Yes. And yeah. for, for an existing Flex customer, Flex user, Flex system user, this is the easiest upgrade on the market today. Yeah. So let's spin the, the chassis around and have a look at the back where the switch gets installed. So this is a common, this enclosure um, has common power supplies and fans to support all 14 compute nodes. Um, and we've already have it installed two Ethernet switches and that go, they go to the adapter um, that was in slot one or the, uh, the fabric connector that we had in the, in the SN550. Um, and Jim, the, the, the new switches, the NE2552Es, will go into uh, bays three and four, just like so. And Easy so you have them installed, that's it, yeah. The, the, um, all the orange handles, uh, to remind you, these can be done hot swap. That's right. So you, we could have had um, all the existing networking operational other compute nodes are all operational, um, no downtime. Um, so now we've turned those on, uh, installed them, they automatically yep. power on. We would normally have had two That's installed. Right. They would, the second one would go into this, into this uh, bay here. That's right. Now, the, um, you, you, you mentioned here the, these are the external ports, so you can now connect those to top of rack? That's right. You've got several options here with the external ports. You can connect them to a 10 gig top of rack, a 25 gig top of rack. You can also connect them to a 100 gig top of rack, all available from Lenovo, which creates a very smooth, not only implementation and upgrade, but a support environment, all supported by Lenovo. So Jim, in closing, this is the new high-speed networking solution for Flex System. Um, if you're an existing Flex System customer, this is a great way to enhance your IR capability of, of the enclosure. Um, it, there's an easy upgrade path because you can simply add the switches now, and then as you need to, you can upgrade the compute nodes um, as you go. The, the, the switches will support the existing 10 gig um, networking in, in X240M5 compute nodes, for example. So there's a very easy upgrade path to get you there. That's right, and if you're a customer that's considering the Flex system for the first time, these new networking features give you the speed and performance you need for today's data center environments, as well as the advanced features to simplify the configuration and provisioning of a high-speed data network. So if you're looking for more information about these components, we've got some product guides which will tell you all about the advanced features that, these, that they have. We've got a product guide on the NE2552 switch. That's right. And we've got a product guide on the QLogic adapters as well. I'll put the links, uh, I've got the links for those in the, in the description for the video. Also there, you'll see a link to the 3D tour, which is an excellent way to check out all how all the components fit together. So look for both of those. Thanks very much. Hope you found the video useful. Jim, thank you. Thanks, David. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.